Did you know that one of Jacksonville's newest residents is a New York Times best-selling author? Yes, she just recently moved to town. Please welcome romance novelist Janine Frost. It's so good to see you. Thanks for being here. Oh, thank you so much for having and me. And congratulations, by the way, on the latest book. This is now the fourth in a series, uh, which is your third series. By the, <laughs> yes. You've written a ton of books and had great success. So let's first talk about what people can expect with this latest series. Uh, this is the fourth and final installment in the Night Prince series, and it wraps up the storyline of my hero, Vlad. Yes, Vlad, Vlad the Impaler. I uh, pulled him out of history once again and turned him into a vampire. And uh, my heroine, Layla, who has her own paranormal abilities as well. She can harness and use electricity as a weapon. Where do you get your inspiration for <laughs> writing these novels, and what made you want to become a romance novelist to begin with? Oh, I wanted to be I wanted to be a romance novelist ever since I swiped a romance novel off my mother's shelf at an age probably too young to admit to in public. <laughs> um, and I was hooked on the genre, of course. And I've also loved all things paranormal since I was a child. From even back before I can remember, my parents long told me that the first time I went to Sunday school, when the pastor said, do you know what that cross means? I said, yes, that keeps the vampires out. <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of been destiny for me to gravitate toward that. How did you then cultivate your writing skills and how did you get first into the business? And it's good information for those who you know, are aspiring writers who wanna learn. Um, my way was a little non-traditional. I actually did not take any creative writing courses. Or I didn't take any, any, any college courses really at all. So I can't say I would, so this comes with the don't try this at home disclaimer. <laughs> um, I just really loved to write ever since I was little and I really loved to read and I got the idea for my first novel from a dream. I've had vivid dreams and I had always written little stories out of them and that one ended up becoming its own novel and I started shopping it around to literary agents which is the traditional way to mm -hmm. do it and uh, one accepted me as her client and then sold it to Harper Collins and it wow. took off from there. What is it like to be an author, a New York Times best-selling author? Are you just traveling all over, <laughs> meeting? What are you doing? What? What? Uh, tell us what a day in the life of you uh, is all about. It's so funny because, you know, being an author sounds really exciting, but really they kind of pay you to be a shut-in. Um, <laughs> you're home all the time. Most of my conversations take place between my husband and my dogs. Uh, but, you know, the good news is, is you get to create your own worlds and you get to let your imagination run wild and someone pays you to do that. It's like all the joy of being a kid but with a paycheck. Uh, so I, I, couldn't, I couldn't recommend it enough as far as if you enjoy, uh, you know, turning the stories and ideas in your head into something that you can share with others. And how do you come up with such unique content? I mean, are you watching movies? Are you reading other books? Are you just walking outside? Are you talking to the dogs? I don't know. What, what? <laughs> all of the above, right. actually. Uh, you know, you can get inspiration from anywhere. Uh, sometimes I've seen documentaries on the History Channel that have given me inspiration for ideas. And the fun thing about paranormal is, uh, like with this, you can take an interesting person from history, pull them forward, and say, okay, if they were still alive today, what would they be doing? Um, so fiction gives you a great ability to control and do things the way you would like that, that we never get in real life, do we? So, um, so it's, it's a lot of fun to be able to play the what if game with yourself and make right. it into a story. How disciplined do you have to be? I mean, do you, because I know, and I've heard from other author, authors coming on the show talking about, they want me to get a book every year. Like I have to finish this series in X amount of years or X amount of months. Or, so how disciplined do you have to be? I mean, it's hard because you're waiting for that inspiration to come to you, right? But Yes and no. There are, good, there are days when the inspiration comes, and that's great, and it's like riding a wave. And there are days when, you know, you just plant yourself at your desk and you force yourself to sit and write whether you want to or not. And I think that's with any job. You know, mm -hmm. you have your great days where you look at the clock and my, how the time has flown, and your other days where you're just grinding it out. Um, so in that regard, it is like a normal job. And you just, you, you keep at it, persistence, um, just with anything else that matters, persistence. So if somebody wants to come and pick up your work, do they need to start with the first series that you came out with or each series individual They from can the start other? whenever. Okay. I, I mean, you write any, I love new readers picking up books, of course, so you try and write them to where even if it is um, a, a second or third or whatever book in a series that you've recapped enough to where someone can dive right in. Okay, um, like Jared, who is our <laughs> cameraman who, <laughs> You yeah. go right into the camera. We're never going to let him live that down, by the way. Uh, so what is the name of this series that you have and this last book for people? This who is the Night it? Prince okay. series, and the last book in it is called Into the Fire. Into the Fire. Yes. And Jared went into the camera. It's so good to see you. We 
appreciate thank you again. Being here. Appreciate it. And congrats and welcome to the First Coast. We're happy oh, to have you. Oh, thank you. I love it. As a new resident, we could talk more about that. You have to stick around. <laughs> Bold City Brewery, the first craft brewery in Jacksonville is coming up. So oh, gotta, sounds great. Got to introduce <laughs> you to them. You can uh, get a copy or you can get into the fire. And uh, Janine's other books right now at bookstores, pretty much wherever they're sold.